Have you ever wanted to eat a human heart? Well, unless you're from the Dothraki tribe, chances are you're gonna say no, and that's probably a good thing. Well, I can say today that I want to eat a human heart. A human heart made out of cake, that is. <laughs> My name's Melissa and I'm an artist. I create cakes, sculptures, and a lot of other cool things. I'm a big fan of horror and gory things, so for Halloween, I wanted to make a creepy bloody cake. As I was brainstorming and doing a little bit of research for what I wanted to create, the idea of creating a realistic human heart popped into my head. A human heart is creepy and a little bit gory, but also anatomically intricate and beautiful to sculpt. I knew this cake would look beautifully horrific, which is perfect for Halloween, but also very me in my style. To achieve my goal, I did not hold back on any detail, but I'll let you see for yourself. Let's make this cake. I had to build an internal structure for this cake because it really defies gravity being a standing heart cake. The heart is narrow on the bottom and gets wider on the top. Now I could make the whole heart out of cake, but in this case I didn't need all of that cake. So the bottom I just built up with a little piece of tin foil, creating that narrow base, and then I build the cake right on top of that. I think it's a no brainer you have to go with some red velvet cake for a heart cake. <laughs> I had this perfect idea in my head to have this strawberry sauce in the center and then when you cut the cake it would be oozing out like blood. But sadly my vision doesn't come through in the end because I didn't put a barrier between the cake and the sauce in the middle so then all the sauce got absorbed into the cake and then when I cut it it just didn't ooze out at all. But that's a lesson to learn for the future and I'll make another gory cake with some blood oozing out of that one. Mm -hmm. I carved the cake into the basic shape of the heart, so just like a little rough draft for me to work on top of, and give it a seal of ganache just to keep it nice and fresh and solid, keep all those crumbs out. And now the fun part comes, time to start sculpting this heart. I'm using modeling chocolate, which is the perfect base for me to sculpt on top of and mold all of those details to the exact anatomical accuracy that I want. And this cake was a great excuse for me to give myself a little refresher on the anatomical overview of a human heart. Not that I remember it exactly, because <laughs> it's a lot to remember. But we've got the right ventricle, the left ventricle, the aortas, the arteries. Can't leave anything out. This has to be as realistically accurate as I can make it. <laughs> the top of the heart is my favorite part. We have that aorta that overlaps the whole top, which supplies blood all over our body. And then that long pulmonary artery that goes underneath the aorta, which carries blood from the lungs. It's like a whole ventricle system going on up there that kind of feels very like alien-like to me with all these little like cavities that connect to other things. It's super creepy and really brings in that gore factor, especially when you can paint like some blood in there later on. I have a lot of fun with that, but it's just so beautiful and otherworldly. Like the fact that that lives in our body and we all have it is so crazy when you think about it. The inside of our bodies is just another alien world. <laughs> Dividing out the different sections on the surface of the heart and then creating all those textures and details, making sure to add in all of those arteries and veins that kind of pop out on the surface, those indented lines and creases, the texture of the organ itself. That is all crucial into really achieving this horrifically beautiful goal of this human heart. Ready to eat. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> well, we are gonna eat it, but as a cake. <laughs> I don't normally get to paint with so much red. A lot of my cakes, they just don't have such big red surfaces on them. So it was so much fun just going in with this deep, deep red and then bringing out all these beautiful pink shades, blending all those colors together and creating all this contrast with just like red tones and uh, some light yellow tones as well, especially in the lighter areas. I went in with some white and some light yellows. The yellow really comes through on the top on like the aorta and the pulmonary artery and kind of, kind of creates this little bit of like a nauseating tone that you don't notice because it looks really beautiful, but it's also really creepily gory. The sections of white that flows through the heart create a great contrast against those darker sections of red, especially on the bottom of the heart. And it breaks up the different sections on the heart, which makes each section individually pop, but also creates a cohesive flow throughout the heart, bringing it all together, which is important because there's a lot going on in this heart. I love how disgustingly creepy those cavities on the top of the aorta and the arteries look. I made sure to go in on the tips of them and inside with some deep, deep red to make them extra bloody and horrific. <laughs> 
and they really remind me of a scene from an alien movie like the movie Prometheus where they're just bringing their head closer and closer to this little cavity on the ground and all of a sudden something pops out of it and then goes into your body and creates a baby and then pops out later. <laughs> That's exactly the feeling I want you to have when you look at those little cavities on that heart. I want you to be a little bit scared of them, of what's inside of them. You never know what might pop out. I love how fleshy the areas where I put the white and the yellow tones look. I think that really accomplished that feeling of it being an actual organ and that like tissue texture rather than like a fake looking just all red heart. All of that paleness really creates that like fleshy disgustingness. Like when you picture someone like eating that heart, okay, Game of Thrones again, the Dothrakis, that's what you would, you really get, I feel like get most disgusted with. And of course the blood that drips out. <laughs> I went in with just a little bit of red in the creases on the veins throughout to accentuate those a little bit, but subtly. And then the last step was to give the whole heart a light glaze with confectioner's glaze to make it shine. Because this is a realistic human heart cake, I want it to look like it's been freshly pulled out of the body. So it needs that slime, that glaze to make it shine. <laughs> yes, the more disgusting it is, the more excited I get about it. <laughs> and once that glaze is added on, this heart is literally popping. It is beating in front of me. <laughs> I thought this cake was so beautiful. I mean, beautifully horrific, which achieved my goal exactly in the way I wanted it to. But I just think it's so beautiful. I mean, I think the human body and the anatomy is beautiful. I was obsessed with this cake. <laughs> and I had so much fun cutting it, even though that sauce did not ooze out the way that I wanted it to. It still looked really creepy and disgusting and the sauce created like kind of a wet texture on the cake, which looked really good for the inside of the heart. And the red velvet just popped when I cut it. So that was awesome. I love the way also that it squished when I cut it. Like it felt so realistic. Like that flesh was just like squishing as I cut through. <laughs> yes, I am trying to gross you out. That is my goal. <laughs> The cake photographed so beautifully and so realistically and that photo looking down on it from above where you see the artery and the aorta. Oh my god, it feels like it's an alien life form right in front of me. I'm obsessed. My favorite photo ever. I want to like frame it and play next to my bed, but I don't think my husband will let me. Please! <laughs> this cake cutting was the saddest one I've ever done because I loved the cake as a sculpture on its own. Like I would love to just recreate it and have that in my house and stare at it every day. Um, so it was sad to say goodbye to it. but. Thus is the nature of the cake. Like a human heart that does not last forever, neither does the human heart cake. That's actually a really nice, beautiful, and horrifying metaphor. Perfect for this cake. <laughs> this human heart cake is one of my favorite sculptures of all time, regardless cake or not, just one of my favorite creations I've ever made. And I think it would be worthy for a Dothraki to eat. Of course, it's not a horse heart, so they wouldn't eat it. <laughs> but it was worthy for a human to eat because it's cake. <laughs> If you enjoyed watching me create this beautifully disgusting cake, please give this video a thumbs up and comment below what other type of organ or disgustingly gory cake you'd want me to make in the future because I love this theme and definitely want to create more. And don't forget to subscribe to see that happen. You can watch the full creation of this heart cake from start to finish, no edits, no cuts, on my Patreon, which is linked below. I hope you felt inspired, not disgusted or horrified by me creating this realistic human heart cake. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.